All right, so now let's try to uh, put all of this a little bit more into perspective for you here. Um, this slide is going to draw more of the relationship between the operating system kernel and the various containers that we have. Um, a container image must match the operating system kernel that you're running on, which is either Linux or Windows. However, with this new feature of a Windows Hyper-V container, you can use it to actually host a Windows or Linux container image um, the, because they do not share the operating system kernel. So let me show you with this graphic down below. Here I have a personal computer. So this is a piece of hardware. And on it I have installed a hypervisor. This could be something like a Zen hypervisor or you know, the Windows Hyper-V hypervisor. On that uh, hypervisor we can go and stand up a virtual machine. A virtual machine gets its own operating system kernel. So I have an operating system kernel here which could be either Linux or it could be Windows. On this operating system kernel, I can then go and stand up some containers. So this is a regular container over here. Now if the, if the kernel is Linux, and this is a standard container, then the container has to have a Linux image in it. If the operating system kernel is Windows, then the container image has to have a Windows image inside of it. But if the operating system kernel is Windows, then I can stand up a Hyper-V container. In the Hyper-V container, I get to choose my kernel. So this could be a Hyper-V container image that has a Windows kernel in it, or it could have a Linux kernel in it. And then same is true for this other Hyper-V container over here. Uh, it could have a different kernel in it from the kernel down below, and it could be different from the kernel that's in the container. And then, of course, on this one PC, I could go and stand up a whole other virtual machine that has its own kernel, and then in that virtual machine, I can stand up whatever containers I want. And some of those could be standard containers, or some of those could be Hyper-V containers, and all of these are running on the same PC. Right, so the idea here is, is that the further, from, from the previous slide, the further to the right you are, the more of those things you can get onto a single machine. The further to the left you are, the more isolation you get, but the fewer of those you can run on a single PC. Uh, PC or machine, and this gives you a way to get isolation while keeping your costs low. Right? You want to run on as few machines as possible because you're paying hourly for these PCs or for these virtual machines, and so you want high density, but you want to try to compromise isolation as little as possible. And so we have this spectrum of things that we can choose in order to accomplish our goals.